Hello, I'm Super Orange Cat here today with another South Park announcement. That is the final episode of Season 26's name has been announced, and it is called Spring Break. The blurb that uh, South Park, the Comedy Central website for it, gives us about this episode is Spring Break is an excuse for Garrison to jump back into his former depraved lifestyle. Now, the clip they gave us about this episode shows Garrison at, I guess, some type of meet and greet or, I guess, small rally. Because if you recall, from 27, 20, really 2015, through whatever season 2015 was through 2021, the two specials got in 2021, Mr. Garrison served as the, uh, tr uh, the equivalent of Donald Trump. And the quote in the little clip we got was him kind of going, giving a little rally like, Oh, if we we're, I wouldn't, Ukraine wouldn't be like that if I were there and stuff like that. And then getting a phone call from his current lover, Rick, which we have seen a few times this in the last, the last couple seasons, ever since he stopped being the president and became the fourth grade teacher at South Park Elementary again. And him being like, oh, 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 hi, Rick, like kind of switching gears really fast. And what I think this episode is, is that the jumping back into a forward depraved lifestyle is going to be. Basically him acting like how he was when he was the president of the United States for four years. Maybe we'll get, like, the Mr. Garrison episodes or President Garrison episodes were very hit or miss for me. Because you remember, these were during the seasons where they were very heavy into serialization. And the better moments were the ones that were just kind of like, oh, we just threw Garrison in the situation by himself. Not something connected to member berries or connected to whatever Cartman was doing, or that time where he was supposed to be Pennywise. Uh, the better ones were, the very first time he was, like, President Garrison, this was before he even got elected, was the one where he started the whole, I'm gonna F them all to death, talking about the Canadians, and the, the episode ending him with literally effing Canadian Donald Trump to death. That was a wild episode, and I really remember loving that one back in, like, 2015. And the other one, again, was the, I think this was the B-plot to Doubling Down. Doubling Down, an episode I think is maybe the most overrated in South Park history. But it was the plot line where Mr. Garrison was just browbeating all the other Republican leaders in Congress. Basically forcing them to do things his way. I thought that was a really funny plot line. And outside of that, it's like I said, it's kind of like Tegrity Farms in a way. His plot lines have been very hit or miss lately. But when they hit, they hit really, really well. But when they miss, they have a tendency to miss really, really badly. But I'm interested to see how the season ends. Again, it's the last bit of the season, so if there's going to be some type of cliffhanger, since in real life Donald Trump has announced he is running for president again in 2024, they'll do another like, like thing where like Rick is like, oh, you said you wouldn't do this again. Why can't we just be normal old people lovers? And Mr. Garrison's like, no, we'll do it. But then, like, behind his back, he goes back into President Garrison mode. And, like, the they could end the season with, like, something like the end of, like, Psycho, where it's like, oh, I wouldn't run for president. I wouldn't even hurt this fly. Kind of like, and South Park already did a reference that with uh, the uh, CityWalk owner really being a psychiatrist. <laughs> something like that I think could be really interesting to set up next year, which next year would be during primary season, so we'd already be in the thick of political action at that point, which is guaranteed there's going to be stuff lampooning that in season 27 of South Park. But again, maybe this can set up a really good plot line for future seasons in a way that the toilet paper, ep the toilet paper episode should have, but didn't. What do you guys think? I think this has the potential of being a really good episode. What are your thoughts? Leave your comments, leave your opinions down below. If you like this, if you like more South Park action commentary like this, please like and subscribe. I am Super Orange Cat, and that is all.